So you all remember the free pile. It is still happening and I'm going back every day because they put out new things, but I didn't remember to film the dumpster bag right next to the pile and I found a lot of really cool things there too. So I'm gonna show you what I found because I'm really excited about it. Take a gander at this. It is so large, you guys. It's in such good shape. I don't mind a little patina. I think a lot of this is just, that's like on there, but a lot of it's just surface dirt. So when you put it on a tarp and you give it a good scrub down with some soap and let it dry, it should look pretty phenomenal. And the color is really, really fun. So. You guys should tell me what you think I should do with it. I am thinking could be a really cool bag or even a set of pillows or even a seat cover for a butterfly chair frame. I have a few wooden frames that have been kind of hanging out with me in my, my dead project pile that need to be something added to them essentially to make the seat. And I originally was thinking, oh, I'll macrame them, but that's like a million years of work. So maybe sewing that fabric into a seat cover would be the ideal thing since it's so industrial strength. This is the pile as a whole. This is that old textile I told you about. There's a couple other fabrics, but they weren't really in good shape. Um, these were really awesome colors. With textiles, I always put them through the dryer on high for 40 minutes, maybe a double round to just make sure it kills anything that might be traveling with the textile. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna do that with these little rags that I found. I'm going to try to soak them in my enzyme wash like I normally do to get as much of the stain out as I can, and then figure out kind of what I want to use. Like maybe they'd be really pretty placemats, but sometimes you don't always know if rags were used with a lot of chemicals. There may be a way to test that prior to using to make sure it's like even food safe or safe to be you know touching and whatnot too the canvas were usually made with like a wax coating so i might just scrub that in the in the yard when it's sunny and just get as much dirt off the surface as possible this bag is in really good shape it's just a taiwanese kind of knockoff my friend's like it looks like bendy i'm like kind of but it's not um, this is a holder for those negatives which i'll get into and then i found i've been looking for one of these it's a scale that's never been used i've been needing something like this for baking and this little homemade wall rack it actually sits this direction into the wall and i was like maybe i have a place to put that so we'll see and i'll show you the viewfinder so this is the viewfinder as i said not brave enough to plug it in because that cord is looking a little janky so all of these have these incredible let's see if i can even show you it's kind of yeah you can kind of see through them right like these incredible nature views and then you stick them inside this slot here and you can look through it and it has a light inside, so it'll make it, you know, show up. So I'm gonna open this up. It's got some screws. A lot of stuff made back in the day is made to be fixed. So that makes trying to figure this out a little bit easier and see if I can't rewire it. I'm just having so much fun with this free pile. It's ridiculous. Uh, but I did find that, I couldn't believe that I found that Kodak viewfinder. It's a different way of looking at photos. So it's a color negative that's been developed and then placed inside these little aluminum holders. So okay, just for the sake of showing you these pretty images, I'm like, it's so incredible. They're all kind of organized in a pile. There's a fish, it looks like a marlin. Anyway, how cool is this, you guys? Like, is this in the trash? Like, no, absolutely not. And the fact it had the viewfinder, I was a little bit like, Taylor, what are you gonna do with this? But because I had the viewfinder, even better, I also do have one of those backlit displays that allow you to see it. But how fabulous are these? I'm so excited to go through them. These photos, you guys, are of all these natural formations that probably don't even look the same as they do now. Um, and it's just an incredible piece of history. So to find that, in a dumpster bag, I was like, heck no, like this has to come with me. So I'm like excited to go through it. We've already found some really cool shots. Them of all was getting to meet the grandson of the people who lived at the house. He was out in the yard putting more free stuff out and I started talking to him. I told him that I picked up the painting yesterday and it actually was his grandfather's. He was a hobby artist 
and a principal out of Eugene and his grandmother's moving to Washington. So the real gems for me are getting to know the stories. It makes these finds even more precious. And of course, like I asked permission to go through the dumpster, even though the dumpster bag, even though let's be real, it's like, if it's going to the dump, it will break my heart if like things don't get salvaged. So I probably would have rummaged through it anyway. Uh, but it was so cool to meet him and just get the stories behind all these items. And I cannot believe that I found that Kodak, Kodak um, viewfinder as well, because that is just so precious.